Hey, it's Andrew Huang. I was about to make the theme song for my new series, Weird Gear, which if you haven't seen yet, the first episode is already out. And then I thought maybe I would document this. Actually, it's not a theme song even, it's just a stinger. A stinger is just like a quick it's like sonic branding. It's like a sound logo. A lot of you probably don't even know, but before YouTube started working out for me, I was in commercial music production. So I was working with ads on TV and radio, uh, podcasts, video games, apps. And so I'd be creating all kinds of music and sound effects, uh, you know, for soundtracks or background music or jingles and stingers. So today we're gonna make a stinger for Weird Gear and here's my plan for it. It's going to obviously say Weird Gear. I think I wanna sing it and uh, harmonize harmonize myself and do some really strange chords, like something something where the two words aren't gonna be sung in the same key. And then for other weird elements, I'm hearing this sort of synthetic, but organic, like drippy kind of sound, something slimy and splattery. I don't know why my brain goes there when I think weird, but uh, that's what we're doing. And I think I know the perfect tool for this job. It's in here. The No Coast. Got some great stuff, now I'm gonna record my vocals. And I just had this idea where instead of singing all the different layers of this harmony, I'm just gonna sing it one time and then copy and paste that vocal and pitch shift each copy around to make the chords. Number one, as a way to get things sounding even weirder. And number two, uh, because it means I don't have to come up with the chords right now. That is what we call a win. Win. Weird gear. Weird gear. <laughs> Weird gear. I'm like trying to picture the, the font, the text that I have in mind, and what it's gonna sound like, and how this is gonna like jump out of nowhere and be like, weird gear. Also the pacing of it too, like I want it to be punchy, but I want you to be able to tell what I'm saying. Weird gear. Weird gear. Weird gear. One of those has to work. After all the so I think I have all the pieces I need. Now I've just got to do a bunch of editing, but I don't have time for that right now. Uh, do you guys want to go to Berlin? The modular synthesizer made it through security, and that is all I care about. Excited to show you what I came up with. It's weird. First, though, I've got to do a little performance. So I'm out here for Super Booth, which has been super fun. A uh, really packed day, though. I barely filmed anything. I'm now at the Michelberger Hotel, one of my favorite hotels in the world. Roland is putting me up this weekend, uh, and they said my room is really special for some reason, so I'm just gonna pop in here. What is going on? This wall is just covered in... Okay, let's see what's in here. A little kitchenette. Whoa. Oh my god. Is this the bed? <laughs> this is wild. This is a wacky room. And then like, glassed off. I guess I'll find a way in there. Oh wait. What? What the hell is going on? Entrance to the tub. <laughs> cool, that just opens up top. Oh wait, another bed. I honestly feel like I'm gonna run into someone. This is what it feels like. Bathroom, other part of the bathroom. Tiny little closet. And of course I gotta mention right in the front room here, a table full of sin. <laughs> Well, thanks, Roland. I don't think I'm getting any work done on the Weird Gear Stinger tonight. I'm pretty sure that what I'm gonna do is...
I was planning on working a little bit on the Stinger this morning, but I just don't want to be away from my friends and the synthesizers at Superbooth, so I'm gonna head back there. But let me show you some of what I worked on on the plane. I made those weird voice chords that I was talking about. I have four different options. I'm leaning towards one, uh, but think about which one you like the most, and uh, let's see if we agree. Smash cut to the weird voice chords. Weird gear. Weird gear. Weird gear. Weird gear. mad day at Superbooth. I did not film enough, but um, I hope you enjoyed whatever you just saw. I'm headed out right now because I gotta perform again. I'm like the surprise guest at this teenage engineering party. The set tonight is gonna be all pocket operator and modular synth. It's gonna be a good time. Let's go. What day is it? be the thumbnail. <laughs> Super booth is like my exact niche. You can't really walk like 20 feet without someone saying hi, which is really nice, but it like slows down getting around the festival. I'm just trying to hang out with Greg. Hey. I started uh, collecting high fives. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey. About to see Heinbach and look mum no computer perform. Check out this venue. Short legs? What the fuck? <laughs> Maple leaves. Meaning now I miss Canada. I feel like this whole period in my life has been a lesson in too much. I wanna be too much, I wanna do too much. I've been going hard this weekend. I had meetings with tons of people, saying hi to so many viewers. Uh, I had 
four performances lined up back to back to back every single day. I just backed out of one that was gonna start in a, about an hour, which means 1 a.m. It was like a loose thing, not a major commitment. They just asked me a few days ago, but uh, when it came down to it, I said, look, I gotta make a wise decision. I gotta get some sleep tonight. I had three hours last night. And I'm just learning over and over that I can't do everything I want to do. Uh, I missed a whole bunch of concerts that I wanted to see here. I uh, didn't get a chance to talk to a couple people who I've been chatting with online and wanted to connect with here. But it's been a jam-packed, non-stop, very fun weekend regardless. And that's cool. When I first started making this video, I really thought I would have more time to work on this stinger. I pictured myself sitting in a cute Berlin cafe, just like editing away. It would be done. I would do the logo. And I know it's probably not gonna happen, but I'm still gonna hold out hope that I might get to it tomorrow. quit coffee last summer. Not quit as in never drink again, but I used to be a three cups a day kind of guy and I just hated feeling dependent on any substance to function. So I detoxed for a couple weeks and since then I've been having it like every three or four days, but uh, this weekend, it's been helping. But now at last, let's work on weird gear. Those sounds you were just hearing were some of the things I made with the No Coast. I've got it all chopped down to just the little pieces that I want here. A couple of them I color coded because I really like them. I think I'm gonna use them in the Stinger. These are also gonna be on a sample pack that I'm dropping at the end of May. So if you become a $5 supporter on my Patreon before then, I will send it to you as soon as it comes out. So the shape of this Stinger, this very short piece of music, I want it to be like big impact, weird noise, kind of like dripping, falling away, a uh, bit of delay or reverb to kind of give it some glue, and then uh, the chords we were doing before. By the way, which one did you like most? Let's hear them again. Weird gear, weird gear, weird gear, weird gear. I think this is the one for me. Weird gear. Just to walk you through what I did here though, each of those vocal stacks is three or four layers of uh, the same recording of me singing Weird Gear, but each one's been pitch shifted different amounts to create the chords out of the original notes. And I've also used some formant shifting to adjust the tone. So now let's put it all together. It's just gonna take a bunch of experimentation and finding the right combination of no coast sounds to get what I want, the right combination of effects to process them through, and then dropping that vocal chord on top. Weird. <laughs> Guys, I'm so pumped about where we're at with this. Uh, obviously, we've got the weird chord in there. Weird gear! I guess it's not crazy weird. It's two minor chords, a semitone apart. And then the rest of the sounds are all no coast through effects. So the first one is this sort of snare with reverb on it. And then the main kind of body of the sound, I would say, is this sort of weird modulating line. We've also got something sort of synthesizing a kick drum. And then we've got this little rise into a hit that I've run through a bunch of reverse delay. I'm using uh, Sandman Pro from Unfiltered Audio. I've been really loving this plugin lately. Check this out, dry. And here it is with the effects. And then the next layer is that same little rise bit from the previous sound, but I've pitch shifted it down and run it through a plugin I discovered at Superbooth, Crusher X. Those Crusher X guys were so nice. Father and son team. The dad has been developing this since 1998. It is a mega deep plugin, and I got this by just messing around with it for like 30 seconds. Dry sound, Crusher X. The visualizer on it too is just the coolest thing I've ever seen. And then the final element is this low bass note from the No Coast run through Ableton's ping pong delay. So all together we now have the Weird Gear Stinger. Weird Gear! I'm so happy with this. Let's hear it one more time. Weird Gear! <laughs> So the team at Coma Electronic is throwing this all day after party for Superbooth and uh, I want to perform at it. Home sweet home. Let's make a title card. Yeah, 
yes, the reverb here. 